In this episode of Cobb TV, we are going to be talking about drum lessons and if they are worth the money. <laughs> yes, and be sure to like and subscribe for more epic musical content. Now, there is no yes or no answer for that question, but I'm going to share my experience with drum lessons. And just to give a quick little story in Dave Grohl's biography, he talks about actually taking a drum lesson from this jazz drummer who would host this jam session every Sunday that him and his mom would go to. And the jazz drummer at the lesson basically told him he was holding the sticks wrong. Dave is kind of famous for playing like this with the butt ends of the sticks, especially in Nirvana and Scream. But he told them also to hold it in a traditional grip style, gave him some rudiments to work on and then after that Dave decided that he didn't want to continue with drum lessons and imagine how different the story would be if he had pursued drum lessons he'd be a much different drummer but that doesn't necessarily mean he would have been a worse drummer just a different drummer lessons are definitely going to affect the way you play some people seem to think that it stifles your creativity and it can if you let it but again, I'm going to share my experience with music lessons. I was actually self-taught for the first two and a half years of being a drummer. My lessons were basically listening to records, Beatles, Nirvana, Led Zeppelin, and playing in a band. And once I got the hang of it, I started figuring out my own drum beats and creating my own drum beats. It was a very creative time for me because I didn't know what I was doing. So yes, there is a lot of creativity that comes from not knowing what you're doing but then it got to a certain point where I actually did want to learn music I wanted to learn how to read music because I had this romantic idea of wanting to be able to pick up any piece of sheet music and being able to read it because I think there's a lot of information in drum books and I just was very fascinated with the idea of just being able to pick up a drum book and read off the page and I did kind of teach myself how to read the notes and how to understand the notes but it was more like deciphering the first teacher I approached I asked if they could show me how to read music and it was a 30 minute lesson I paid about 20 25 dollars for it and he spent 20 minutes talking about himself and the kind of drummers he liked we just talked about drummers and then the last 10 minutes he actually asked me to play for him which happens at drum lessons a lot so I played for him and he basically told me what I was doing wrong and he told me you know the way I should be um, he basically taught me a free stroke which is you know if you notice when I hit the pad the stick kind of floats up naturally on its own whereas before I was like you know playing like that and I worked on the free stroke and I was able to do it but I didn't get any knowledge or understanding of reading music from that lesson so I decided not to continue with music lessons at that point. I would see these drummers play these crazy jazz beats and rhythms and all this insane stuff and their teacher was a jazz teacher at a university and so I decided to take lessons from him. And the lessons cost about $75 and I went to the lesson and the three things I kind of walked away with were that he had me sing for him. I picked a day tripper because it was the first thing that came into my head. He kind of put me on the spot and I didn't realize I was being analyzed as a singer or else I probably would have done a better job. But you know, he told me to sing the actual notes and to put the rests and phrasing correctly in all the right spots. and. Basically, the lesson behind that was if you can sing it, you can play it, and if you understand the melody, then you always know where you are in a tune, essentially. And, you know, I guess that is makes sense. It still sticks with me, and I do agree with that, but did I need to pay $75 for that lesson, you know, to play steadier quarter notes on the ride cymbal? I guess those were the main things. Okay, so two things, not three things that I got out of that lesson. Wow, even less. But it was $75 for that lesson, and I didn't walk away 
being a crazy jazz drummer like I had hoped. I didn't get any drills or exercises. But then Bernard Purdy came to town and he was offering $20 off of his lessons if he went to go see the show. And so I emailed him and I got to take a lesson with Bernard Purdy. And that was worth the price. It was a $200 lesson minus the $20 for going to see him play at the local jazz club. And he was amazing. Just watching him was a lesson in itself because I was kind of on the path to becoming more like a Keith Moon. I would do a lot of drum fills in the songs and play very busy, play the same song differently every time we played it. And Bernard Purdy, when I sat down with the lesson, he basically introduced me to ergonomical playing, which is, you know, basically having your ride cymbal and your toms in a comfortable position to where you don't have to like use your arms so much where you're more focusing on your wrist, your fingers, um, using your ankles. He told me to play with leather sole shoes so that I could learn the heel toe technique better and not use my legs so much. Um, he taught me about keeping really steady time by always knowing where the one is and practicing with the snares off. And he had me record the lesson too that uh, I actually took two lessons with him and both lessons are on the channel because he actually encouraged me to record the lessons so that I can listen back to them and I listened to them dozens and dozens of times and his teaching approach stuck with me and all the things he told me are still things that I use to this day and he even told me that he said when you sit at the drum set I want you to think of me and I do most of the times when I go down to play I think of the way he played and how he kept steady time and how he serves a song and basically how he knows how to basically get a gig as a musician and so that was definitely worth the money both lessons were well worth the money because there's still things that I use to this day now at this point I still haven't learned how to sight read music yet which is something I really wanted to do but I kinda lost hope in finding a teacher that could teach me how to sight read because I think I went to one other person after that and uh, they still didn't quite give me the proper methods to learn how to sight read and I would look at stuff online too and it just seemed like a, a lost art and I wanted to learn more than just playing paradiddles and reading snare drum solos I wanted to actually sight read professional drum charts and there's not a lot of good drum charts just available to read um, but I did get the chance to play in a lot of musical theater gigs so I kind of learned just by trial and error you know at the gig and I got better at it that way but it was finally a teacher by the name of Todd Bishop who has a blog cruciteshipdrummer.com who I contacted and he actually gave me the right methods to learn how to read music and those lessons were fifty dollars a piece and I would say I took a total of eight lessons getting prepared to play drums on a cruise ship which is the main reason why I wanted to learn how to read music because sight reading is a very important thing if you want to be a cruise ship drummer but um, he helped me prepare for my audition which I passed and I have been a cruise ship drummer anyways the main thing he explained to me was how to use the book syncopation um, and there's a specific series of pages I think it might be 32 through 38 where it's just different eighth note rhythms but instead of just playing what's written on the page you take the rhythms and you know you maybe play the jazz beat and then you play the rhythms with the snare while keeping the jazz beat as steady as you can playing a rock beat and then you play the rhythms with the kick drum and just so many different combinations of ways that you can practice reading you know this these four or five pages in syncopation that actually made me a better sight reader and of course he showed me how to play a bunch of different Latin grooves in a more practical way like with the cha-cha instead of using the cowbell you play quarters on the rim click but anyways that's for another video I finally got better at sight reading because of the knowledge that he shared with me and I definitely felt more comfortable at the cruise ship gig having an experienced cruise ship drummer show me basically cutting out the fat and you know just kind of giving me the meat and potatoes 
of what I need to basically um, nail it. And so that's my experience with music lessons. For most of what I've done, I've always been self-taught and the lessons I did take, they definitely stuck with me. I can still sit down and come up with creative drum parts if I put my mind to it, but there's not always a place for that unless you're playing original music. So if you just want to be a completely original drummer, then don't worry about taking lessons, especially if you have the ability to teach yourself. And you know what one of the great things about the internet is, is you can get free lessons. Yes, you can get free lessons from me, Cobb the Drummer. So be sure to like and subscribe for more knowledge on music. And in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.